Hey guys, I just wanted to do a really short, really quick video about the power of an apology. Um, it's something that I meant to do this week, but I just simply ran out of time. Um, and it's around like, um, it's around how in life and business, if you are trying to succeed, um, then you'll be the person that apologizes first, accepts it. You may not always be right, so you kind of give up the right to be right, um, and you and you always apologize with sincerity, with integrity, with in authenticity, and really mean it, like from the bottom of your heart, really mean it. And and it's kind of like it came up in like at least four different examples this week, and I wanted to share what they were. You know, the first one was, um, I've got a girl that I'm working with. Um, she looks after 200 girls, right? And so she came to me and she said, oh, I want you to build my online presence. And I said, great. I want you to go and apologize to the top 10 ladies that report to you. And you should have seen her face. She was like, huh? Like, what's that got to do with anything? I said, it's got everything to do with it. I said, I want you to ring those ladies and I want you to apologize for being basically a shit leader um, for not being there for them, for not leading the way, and that they can just apologize. And then I want you to say that in the future you can rely on me for is to be, to be, you know, just and also just tell them how you've been feeling. Tell them that you've been scared. Tell them that you've been frightened about how to do this. You, no one's trained you on how to lead. And I said, and then tell them what they can rely on you in the future. In the future that they can rely on you for is to be, be a great leader and that you're going to lead the way and help them and share vulnerably together. And it's just been great because in a way she's been ringing me with all this feedback about all these things that have been happening because she's been coming clean with her team and they've been responding amazingly. Like when someone apologizes, it's really hard not to actually meet them halfway, right? Like you kind of go, yeah, you know, you go, I, I, I've been feeling the same. And when someone a, a, apologizes and acknowledges that hurt, it's just like a real validation, right? Um, the second example where it came up is I've been launching this really, really amazing client out of Melbourne this week, and one of our links was not working, right? Um, like what, we had a broken link in one of the emails, um, and I and I recalled the time. I don't know if you guys have heard of a lady called Ashy Bynes. Um, Ashy Bynes sent out like a, an email to like I don't know a million people on her database, and she had a broken link. Um, and she sent an email out and she actually blamed it on a staff member in the email. She actually blamed it on an editor. So anyway, when my client and I, we've, we're sending our stuff out to around 400,000 people um, this week. And I said to my client, I said, you know what? I said, this is the time when you need to apologize from your heart. And my client goes, he, I mean, he was fine. He was totally accepting of the, of the scenario. I said, the person who apologizes um, always wins. You know, they're extraordinary people who can put their, put their ego aside and accept, you know, accept when they're wrong and not blame anyone else, not blame other people and just apologize. No reasons, no excuse, no story. So we sent out an email and when something like this, I am so sorry that we had a broken link in our email and you know, how embarrassing, but here's the link and we really want you to you know, have a look at what we're doing and buy. It actually went really well. It went really well just apologizing. You know, compared to how Ashy handled it, I was really, I was personally, you know, I, I didn't like the way Ashy and her team handled the um, the broken link, blaming on the staff member. So if when, we, when it came up for us, I said, we can actually use this to our advantage. And another client where it came up with this week was actually, um, you know, most people in this economic climate are trying to fill their stores. So they're trying to get people to buy from them or fill their stores in some way and have make a difference and get sales, right? So my client was really worried about people coming in. And I said, look, if it were me in your position, I would ring like 10 of my closest girlfriends and I would apologize to them. I would come clean about being too stressed and too busy with work to be present, to, that you haven't organized a catch up for a while. I'd you know, go home to my husband, I'd say, you know, I'm really sorry that I've been really stressed out about work. Um, and just, you know, just share with them how you're feeling, that you're scared, that you, you, know, that you know that things are tough. 
and that you haven't had the time you would normally have to be a great friend. And I said, and then ask them to come into the store, put on a bottle of champagne, get them to come in. And the reason why you do that is because when you apologize to a person, you say, look, I haven't really been there, then they start to move mountains for you. They start to see you for who you really are and your vulnerabilities, and they take action and they start helping you. So it's just been really amazing this week where like all of my high-end clients that pay me thousands of you know, they're coming to me for advice about websites and my biggest advice back to them is apologize to the people in your life. And, you know, it really does have a, have a big impact. So um, my advice to you, this is an exercise I want everyone to do. You might be sitting here thinking, oh, no, I don't, I don't need to apologize to anyone. They need to apologize to me. Okay, if you're feeling that way, I want you to really look. I want you to have a look. And think about, is there anything that you can do to be an extraordinary, amazing person that accepts responsibility and um, and passes the olive branch over first? The strongest person in any equation passes the olive branch over first. Um, so if you're sitting there thinking, oh, no, 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 they need to apologize to me first, I'm encouraging you to consider that you can do take the first step, the strongest step in actually um, being a person that um, affects the change that you want, be humble, is courageous and doesn't rely on other people to change, that you're the one that accepts that you're the, you need to change. And then other people might be listening to this and thinking, you know what, I actually can think of at least five people that I need to clean up with and apologise to. I want you to Go and ring those people today. Get on the phone and say, I am really sorry. You know, I'm really sorry that I haven't been there for you. And I know you've been dealing with a lot of stuff, right? Um, but I want you to know that I've been really scared and I've been really worried about my business and I've just been flat out surviving. And in the future, you can rely on me to be a great friend, to be a great daughter, to be a great wife, to be a great husband, whatever it might mean to you. And just come clean to them and just say, look, I just really want to create, I really want my business to work. I really want everything to work. And then you'll find that miracles will unfold if you're that person that apologizes first. People will start helping you, mountains will start moving, and things will start to shift. I promise, I promise you that things will start to shift. So I hope this has been of some help. I'm so sorry I didn't do this on Thursday. I've been meaning to do it for days and that's why I've done it today on my Saturday because it's such an important topic. You, can't, you cannot succeed in life or business if you have a foundation of um, unworkability with the people in your life, like your friends, your husband, your family. Um, and once you, get that sta when, once you get that foundation stable, then things will start to really shift and you'll start to really shine. All right, have a great day. Let me know how it goes. Bye, guys.